Yesterday, um, with uh, Todd and Mark, you talked a lot about the other side. Not that I'm uninterested on the other side, but let's talk a little bit about this side um, and how, uh, the, how we steward our, our money and possessions impact our lives today in this world. Can you just share with us a little bit about that? Well, one scripture talks about the, the joy of giving, uh, all of the secular studies. When I wrote a big book on happiness, some of you have told me that you read. It's amazing to see all these studies talking about how, you know, people are so much more fulfilled and happy. All these studies show when they're generous, when they give. And you go back to what Scripture has said all along about the joy of giving. But one of the transforming aspects uh, of, of giving uh, that we see in Scripture, well, we see it with the rich fool uh, his uh, unchanged attitudes and actions concerning money and possessions demonstrated that he was lost and he truly was a fool. And he died that night and he was not ready for eternity. In contrast, you see the poor widow and she was ready for eternity. She gave everything that she had and God's blessing and approval. And most of us would say, well, who would you rather be? The rich fool or the poor widow? Well, ultimately, in eternity, you'd sure rather be the poor widow who will be rich forever uh, than the rich fool who will be poor forever. Um, but then you see the rich young ruler in Mark 10, and, uh, and, and in contrast to him, Zacchaeus in Luke 19. And remember, Zacchaeus uh, says, uh, Lord, when he comes to faith in Christ, he says, Lord, uh, I'm going to give away half of all that I have, and I'm going to pay back four times over everybody that I've cheated. And he was a tax collector. His job was cheating. And so he had a lot of people to pay back. So restitution is, and in addition to that, giving away half. And then what does Jesus say? Today, salvation has come to this house. He's not saying he was saved by the things that he did in the giving away of the money, but because his heart was transformed, then he demonstrated it through generous giving. And you know, in, in Scripture, we see that generous giving is manifested not simply in giving a portion of income. It's demonstrated in giving away assets substantial personal assets. You have Barnabas who singled out, but there were many others who did the same, who sold land. And maybe that was his retirement, I don't know, but he sold land, it had value, and he gave to the needs uh, of God's people. So giving is an evidence of the work of the Holy Spirit in our life. So God's grace to us is the lightning and our giving to God and to the peoples of the world is the thunder. The lightning comes first. We love God because he first loved us. We give to God because he first gave to us.